All right. Shalom, everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. Peace about your friends. And now we are live in three locations Discord, Rumble, and YouTube. Uh, we will not keep you for long, but I saw the funny news, you know, very funny news. This is what is posted today, actually from yesterday in all over the media. Let me share with you guys on Rumble and in uh, YouTube. Sean King, he was kicked out. He was going to be a person who speak for fundraisers for the terrorists in Gaza. But care who they are in competition of collecting money and fooling people they found that this guy he converted to Islam because he wanna make money the second day he converted to Islam after he converted to Islam in the morning <laughs> he converted afternoon by by evening <laughs> in the morning he launched <laughs> 1000 tickets speaking tour <laughs> 1000 dollar 1 how much how much listen carefully how much the ticket is 1000 dollar just to speak don't invite anyone to the stage we want to finish this topic just to make, just to do what to make a speech this is 1000 for every individual so listen carefully if we get a hundred a hundred a hundred listener, we get a hundred thousand. <laughs> so in in fifteen, imagine if I do that, you know, in fifteen minutes I will I will make a million. I mean, look at the scam. Look at the big dummy scam. The guy, obviously, he is preparing himself for this. You know, all those, like, what her name? This uh, the lady, uh, Condanis, whatever her name, she is a scam too. The, you know, she said there is a change. And listen to the change. Look, look in New York. Look, uh, people are not supporting Israel no more. So she started herself following the trend. All of them, they are scammers. They are just after money. She noticed that there is, a you know, this guy, uh, the pimp, he have influence of many, so she wanna follow the trend. She go and meet him. They are a trashy, they are after money. So look at this guy now. And look how embarrassing it is. Look what it says. They accuse him. I don't know if you can see the screen. You see do you see that text clear? Accusing him of using the religion as a grift. Do you see it? Who is the one accusing him? Those are the Muslims. And in fact, the Muslims is the one who contacted the Islamic organization who support the terrorists. Oh, by the way, this organization, CARE, established by Hamas terrorists in USA, and later he was kicked out, but the organization stayed. Here you see, this is CARE from uh, Twitter. We had, we heard your concern express directly and indirectly look at this details directly and indirectly that's amazing by our community regarding sean king being the keynote at our at your annual iftar fundraiser we have made the decision to not have sean king as a keynote speaker for our upcoming annual fundraising dinner we have the heard, heard the concern directly and this is I mean again you know and then look what he says this is has a, become a destruction from the sole purpose of our event to support the work of uh, protecting and advancing the civil liberty of Muslims in Minnesota, Minnesota, especially in these challenging days. 
we appreciate your feedback and are committed to ensuring our focus remain in our mission. So the Muslim, they start contacting this faith organization, asking them, do you know what this guy is doing? He is sending posts everywhere, asking Muslim to join him and give him $1,000 each for a ticket just to attend event he would do, a, a tour. So he will go for a month, 30, 30 days, from town to town, or maybe more than 30 days, and every town, in order to attend his speech, because his speech is gold and silver, you have to pay him for the ticket $1,000. I mean, what kind of a creature, I mean, how stupid even you are to do such a thing? At least for a week of a week, I mean, just right away, second day, can't you wait for a week or two? Second day, the guy he converted yesterday, in the morning he announced a tour and a ticket for $1,000. Well, you're going to support Gaza, come on, my friend. I mean, come on. It's not easy to support Gaza. And I noticed, by the way, I saw a video actually. There's a there's a person is a, 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 a African American conservative. He count like thirty names of him. This guy he have endless names. He keep changing his names, depend what he is. So sometimes he is a black uh, 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 like a BLM. Sometimes he is etc. Sometimes he is Malcolm X. Sometimes he is Malcolm Box. Sometimes he is. Do he have uh, endless names? I could not, it sounded like Muhammad. So this guy, every few months or maybe every year, he have a new name because he changed his direction and what he believed and what the trend is. And now the last trend he did, he is a Muslim. He said to himself, listen, I got them. I converted to Islam. Everybody is praising me. And now it is time to receive the gold and the silver. If I make a trip for one month, let, let, let us calculate. If every, I mean, by the way, there's a lot of fools, by the way. Those Muslims, they will be, you know. Yeah, they will pay. Supporting Allah. So if this guy, he go to every city, he have only 100 listener. That is 100,000 from every city. Let us say he went to 30 cities. He just made the $3 million. This is if only 100 people join. Can you believe it? That this is scam? And what make it more embarrassing that the one who kicked him out is the Muslims. But you need to know why. Why the Muslim they kick him? Why why they want him? Because now he is competing. You see, every one of those organization, they are making a lot of money from following those people. You know, donate for us. They don't want somebody to compete with them. Otherwise, they are doing the same. They themselves they are doing the same. They are not better. But because he is competing with them now, he will take a lot of money, which is going, supposed to go to their pocket. So they decide to get rid of him. Give me a second. Sorry for that. I'm making yogurt. <laughs> I was checking the milk. So anyway, uh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to make a speech. What about we do it $500? Come on. Who want to join? 
uh, I will become a Hindu for 30 days. And I'm going to make a speech in India. India have a billion something population. If every city I can get $500 from every citizen, let us say I got only 2,000 citizens attend my speech. And trust me, I will make you love to death. Hey, Hindu, listen. I will bring Zakir Naik with me. Good and print. First of all, I will not allow you to use my name to collect money. Zakir Naik is not up to you. You like it, you don't like it, I will take you with me. We need to make money. Good and print. First of all, I'm going to report you to the police. Like, what police? Dude, what can you can do about this? this is India? You are wanted there. You stupid, you forgot? You are wanted in India, literally. Good and print. I got you busted. So you stupid, you said today you are in Zach and Naik. And they will arrest you. Thank you very much. Zach and Naik, no, they know I'm not Zach and Naik. I don't look like you at all. Good and print. First of all, I hear the rumor that you look like me. I mean, very close. Exactly. Therefore, if you go to India now and you think like me, they will arrest you. And those Hindus are crazy. It's what crazy? It's the, you are the only crazy here. <laughs> so Zach, all of them, they are scammers. They make, you know, the, those ustas in Indonesia, they have $5,000 to make a speech. $5,000 to make a speech. Hmm? Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway so I don't want to really keep you for long I just want to make this video uh, it, I, I think people today are busy it's Sunday and uh, you know not too many people maybe online I'm not sure but people are watching cartoon uh, but imagine how filthy how, how trashy those people are they have no dignity and imagine how much embarrassing that the one who spit you out is the Muslim themselves Yesterday they were cheering you up. Today they spit you out because they notice that you are just competing with them. You see, I don't believe in care that the community they are worried. I don't believe in that. I believe care is worry that he is going to make money more than them. Because they are the one who is collecting them the fund and they will spend it as they wish. And having someone else collecting fund, that is other issue. One thousand dollar for a ticket. So when care they say we heard your concern, I assure you that this is not a concern of anyone except their concern. Those who collect in donation, they are concerned. There is somebody obviously he have a plan. This guy he converted to Islam yesterday, the day after he is making speeches, going tour, and he is asking people to, take, to pay $1,000 for the ticket. It's very, you know, it's, it's clear that this guy, he is preparing himself to do so. He prepared, like, you know, I will go to the mosque tomorrow. The next day, we announce a, a, a tour and the ticket is 1000 And here you notice how big the number is. You see, like, if uh, if they collect $30, I say, okay, they have to rent a place, maybe. You know, I mean, whatever the place you are, maybe it's not for free. Uh, I will make maybe, like, little money. Yeah, okay. But we are talking about $1,000 for each share. $1,000. When I watched the video about, about him, there's a guy, he made this video, he counted the names of this man. This man, he had like a hundred names. He changed his name every year or two or a few months. Not, not, uh, not his personal name, no. But he gave himself a name, a new name. And this is telling you, there's a lot of people, they are just doing business. You know, they don't care really for religion. What this guy, he knew about Islam? What he knew exactly about Islam? Nothing. This guy is from the left. 
Okay, like is he now and him and his wife they will wear hijab and she will stop wearing bikini? Is he going to stop supporting homosexual? Is he no? I mean, so what? So what the point of converting to Islam? It's just the money. Like, are they going to change what they believe in and what they are about when they think what they believe? No. It just a scam. And you know, if you go and you see how many TV stations they are talking about this and they are laughing at him. And all of them, they are repeating the same thing. They are accusing him that he is using religion as a grift. It's just a way to collect money. Uh, you know, I, I hope that everyone, I, you know, for me, if you convert to Islam or any religion, this is business. But it's very obvious that many Western, they are doing these these days, even in YouTube. You know, it's just to get to get more click, make more money. But nobody really care for Islam. Nobody care. They don't even know what Islam is about. You make a channel. You say you converted to Islam. Muslim, they will swarm over your channel. They will support you. They will sponsor you. They will donate to you, and you will make good money. Everybody know that. And this guy, he noticed the trend. And there's many others. You know, they will follow. Because all is about business. No, no, none of those people care for God and religion and who is Muhammad. They don't know anything about Islam. Uh, somebody saying, I just want to make a remark. You usually offend Muslims and you say that Jesus Christ offended some people in the Bible. This is Jesus, but Jesus does not teach that. Well, my friend, let me offend you. Get lost. Jesus called even people who they are Jews, worshiping the true God. He called them, your father is the devil. He said to them, you are a serpent. So you are a stupid and you are a liar. And don't come here. The Bible is full of the verses. <clears throat> and you are a potato. Christian Prince. Jesus Christ did not offend people. <laughs> don't forget to close the door behind you. And don't get married. Your wife, she will leave you second day. Because your wife, she will find the verses in the Bible after two seconds. And she will say, what kind of a stupid husband I got? And she will say, I'm offended by having you as a husband. Look what the Christian prince, he said about you. So you are an expert in Christianity and you do not know what Jesus said. And Jesus did not say that. Really? <laughs> Potato. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Do you know that even Jesus, he called Peter. He stay away from me, Satan. Peter, Peter. Do you know Peter? <laughs> Peter himself. Jesus said to him, stay away from me, Satan. So you're stupid, you're dumb. I mean, you are you're dumb. <laughs> you know those uh, Buddhist monk. You go to their temple, you dumb. You you feel like you are in the bees hive. Like what the heck is that? I went inside their temple and they were doing dumb. I said, oh boy, this is what they do the whole day. I mean, say something. Do something. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> yeah, Jesus did not offend anybody. True, true. Wait until Jesus come and he send you in the oven, you dummy. You are a wicked man, liar. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you long. I want to check my uh, yogurt. Uh, anyone knows how to make yogurt here? I'm a professional in making yogurt. My yogurt is better than any yogurt in the world. I'm going to open a business called Yogurtine. Sadhguru, who talk against modern medicine uh, and there weren't brain surgery. <clears throat> you see, we don't want to make, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we hope he will be fine. But I mean, those people are stupid. Like this uh, Sadhguru, 
I believe he is a stupid, but you can imagine how stupid the people who listen to him. It's not his fault. If he can make money and get rich and people, they pay him, yet he's a stupid. I mean, good for him. <laughs> you know, he go to Los Angeles, those blonde, white people, rich people, you know, every, every one of them, their mouth is open. Wow. Wow. You know, there's the movie, it's called, the what is it? the movie is called The Guru? The love guru something like that right i mean this is giving you a very very good example of the stupid western bring them an idiot he's sitting his ass he's doing yoga and those western they go in uh, i don't know what the word to use in english hepatitis but i don't know how to say it so just be eloquent in your speech and you know like the language very well and just drive them, tickle tickle their brain with with, with words that have no meaning. Like this is the guy who said uh, uh, love is not real. When they have interview with his wife about his death, he said, I love my wife. <laughs> but he forgot he made the speeches that love is not real. It's just an environment around you. It's just a reaction which is not real. So, you know, people are just uh, stupid. Nobody think carefully of what this guy is saying. And nobody will notice how stupid he is. But however, the world is full of scammers. As you see, this guy, he found, you know, activists these days, uh, like global warming. You open organization for a global warming. You buy a boat, you go in the ocean. You spend your life doing nothing but fishing and having fun under the name of a global warming. I'm doing research. Exactly, research. I'm in the sea right now. Swimming, having a suntan, and you are paying for it. People are fooled. Just say certain things, they follow you blindly. Just say global warming. Say Gaza. Everyone in so-called Gaza, if those people in New York, they go to Gaza, they will not survive one day. <laughs> it's reality. All those gays who go support and liberals who support Gaza in New York and Chicago, if they go to Gaza, they will be kidnapped the first day. I am not joking. <laughs> they will gas you. <laughs> But those stupid people, I mean, they support they support the one who hate them most. Ah, this is how stupid the West is. But this guy, I cannot say he is stupid. I can say he is being smart, but he is not playing good when he did this. He was able to scam a lot of people, getting their money, obviously. But this scam here did not work. He converted to Islam yesterday. The day after, he made a, 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 a ticket for $1,000 speech. <laughs> Guys, do you think if I compete with him and I make it 999, people will come to me more? What do you think? It's an idea, I'm not sure. You tell me. Because I can make, listen, if you guys, you can, if you like to come, I can make a better uh, compete in a competition. 999 and 9 cents. What say you? Which one is going to cost you more? listening to the guy who will charge you $1,000 or to the guy who charge you only 999 cents. Hmm? Isn't it obvious? Oh boy. All right, I'm not going to keep you long. Actually, I have work to do. Download the video, share it with your friends, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.